We're out on the side of Bonnaroo and we have with us Anna B with Clean Vibes. And Anna, can you tell us what is the mission of Clean Vibes? The mission is to uh, be an as responsible, environmentally responsible of a waste management company as possible, always trying to divert as mu much waste as possible from the landfill, and at the same time educating the attendees of the festivals about responsible waste consumption and recycling. And what else services do you all provide here? We, everything that has to do with trash and recycling is our realm of responsibility. We contract with Richardson Waste Removal, a local waste hauler, to provide all the hauling services, and we hire a large staff of paid volunteer staff who set up every single trash can throughout the site and throughout the event they service all of those. We run a trading post event as an incentive to get the attendees involved in the recycling process and when the music stops we clean up every last little bit of trash from the giant piles to the cigarette butts and bottle caps. That's great. Can you tell us a bit about what the barrels behind sure. here? Sure. This is uh, the ever-shrinking tower of 55 gallon drums that we use. We have about 4,000 of these. Uh, we place them all throughout all the campgrounds, the concert field, Centeru, and uh, we every everywhere we have a trash can, we have a recycling one next to it. We put plywood tops on top of the recycling to denote those for recycling and try and make it easier for the fans to recycle than not to. During the four-day Bonnaroo event, how much trash do you all collect? We collect over the course of the entire cleanup from the setup through the entire cleanup. It is uh, over 600 tons of waste is produced. Wow. Um, and so out of that, how much is do you recycle? We Last year, we were between the 10 tons that we composted and all the recycling and what we brought to Waste Away, we recycled over 60% of that. That's fantastic. Uh, what? How many crew members and volunteers do you have that work during the Bonnaroo? We have about 150 paid staff that work throughout the entire event, and then between the during show volunteers and the post show volunteers, there's about 300. So all said and done, about 450 staff. Now, if someone volunteers for uh, Clean Vibes, what are some of the incentives to get them to volunteer? Uh, the, how the process works is that they uh, pay a deposit with us. Once we've received their deposit, they uh, receive a ticket to the event. Um, our poster volunteers just get to enjoy themselves, just like any concert goer does. And then when all is said and done afterwards, Tuesday and Wednesday, they work with us to help clean the site. And once they're done their commitment, they get their deposit back. So they've gotten a free ticket to the event and uh, get to have the satisfaction of helping clean it up as well. That's great. Well, you all are doing great things out here, Anna. Anna, can you tell us a bit about this piece that's behind us? Sure, here? this giant tower of plastic bottles. Um, every year we try to create an art installation out of recycled materials. It's just a unique way of educating people about recycling and it gives them a sense of just the quantities of recycling that we have out there. We intersperse things like this giant tower with statistics, uh, both on how much material is recycled at the event and also just statistics about waste and recycling in general. It's just a unique way of sharing with people that educational component that they might not otherwise have really been interested in learning about. And it also adds to the uniqueness of the entire event. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Anna, for your Absolutely. time. And we're going to check back with you during the festival and after the festival to see how the cleanup works are going.